Welcome to Fun Maths. Today I'll be looking at an algebraic problem and trying to find a solution to it. We are told to solve for x, but we are giving x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18 equal to 0. Now, the first thing we do, why not put them in brackets, right? I'm going to try to factorize this problem, and then we'll get our values for x. Okay, so let's say we put them in their brackets. They are already arranged in a way. So this is x cubed plus 2x squared in its own bracket, and cover this, minus, we form a new bracket, 9x, however, because the sign outside this new bracket is minus, it will change this sign. Whatever is here will change to its opposite. If we had positive here, we'll write minus here. Since we have negative here, we're going to write plus here, 18 equals to 0. All right? So when you're factorizing, you look for a factor that is common. What factor is common here? I think that's s squared. We can divide both sides by s squared. All right, so this is x squared into, if you divide x cubed by x squared, we'll be left with just one x, right? So we'll write x plus, if you divide two x squared by x squared, x squared cancels out itself. We're just left with two. Minus, what number can divide both of these? I think nine can divide them. So we have minus 9 into divide 9x by 9, you are left with x, plus divide, divide 18 by 9, we are left with 2, equal to 0. So you discover that these brackets, these two brackets are the same. So what you do is just to put one of them, write one of them. But before that, you form a new bracket with x squared minus 9. All right, and then we have x plus 2 equals to 0. We are looking for the solution. It says solve for x, so we should get the value of x, s equals to so and so. Okay, so for the first one, we have x squared minus 9. Since the both of them multiply each other to give 0, it means that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So what we do is to write x squared minus 9, this first one equals to 0, or x plus 2 equals to 0. Now, when we have x squared minus 9, um, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. Okay, so we can say x squared minus 3 squared equals to 0, or let's, work, let's finish this. Move plus 2 to the right-hand side. Okay, we just have x left, and this is equals to 0 minus 2, because when you move plus 2 across the equality sign, it becomes negative. So 0 minus 2 is minus 2. So x will be equal to minus 2. While for this side, x squared, move 3 squared to the right hand side, minus becomes positive, so it will be 0 plus 3 squared. So x squared equals to 3 squared. Take the square root of both sides. Now, take note. When we are taking the square root, we have x squared equals to 3 squared. When we are taking the square root of both sides, this is going to be positive or negative, plus or minus. And then we also take the square root of this side. This cancels this. Okay, so x, let's move there. So x would either be equal to a positive 3 where we don't need to write a plus, a negative 3, or a negative 2, minus 2. Those are the values of x. Now take note, when we have the highest power of a polynomial to be 3, it means that we're looking for a solution for the values of x. It means that we're going to get 3 values of x. If the power was 2, a quadratic equation, we're going to get 2 values for x. For more videos like this, do it to subscribe to my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, 
like this video and share also drop your comments in the comment section whatever might be the problem let's see whether we can solve it together bye bye